Hello everybody, this is my review of the Tag Heuer Link Chronograph. I believe it is the... Well, I'll have the, the name of the watch and the title of, of it. Uh, this is the Black Chronograph, the Link. This is brand new from an authorized dealer. Uh, before I delve too much into the watch, I'm going to do what I normally do and show you the box and everything that comes with it. So this is the normal Tag Heuer box. I'm sure many of you have seen it before, um, but I'll just do a really quick overview. So that's the outer box, and underneath the inner box, you get the manual. Um, they gave me the wrong one. They gave me a quartz watches, even though mine's an automatic. Um, at the back of the manual is the warranty card. Should be stamped by your uh, authorized dealer if you got it from one. Um, a registration card, so you can register your watch in case somebody else sends it in to Tag Heuer for service. And a little product placement doohickey thing, which... Uh, it's not that important. So then you get to the inner box. Uh, it just says Tag Heuer on it. It's this faux leather sort of material. And you open the box and there is the Tag Heuer logo up there. And with the pillow that the watch comes in. And I just have the extra link in this little pouch. So that is the box that comes with the Tag Heuer. Not too exciting, but uh, not that bad either. So let's get to the watch itself. Start with the dial. So I don't know if you can see it very well in this light, but the dial does have um, lines, has lines going out, vertical lines on the dial. I think it looks really nice. Um, it has a signed Tag Heuer crown. There's the little Tag Heuer shield. It has a tachymeter I think is what you call it on the outside anyways to measure your speed if you're in a vehicle or a plane or well, mostly a vehicle anyway it has a um, shined polished sides it's got brush tops um, it's keeping excellent time although I did open the back myself and make some adjustments to the movement but now it's keeping within one second when I got it it was nine seconds fast a day it's not bad uh, and it was consistent nine seconds a day, which means the synchronism was really low, which is good. So they did adjust it very well. I just made some tweaks to it myself, um, which I don't recommend doing on your own if you don't know what you're doing. So here's the band. This is the link band. Again, it's got uh, a polished band and then on the sides, I'm sorry, a brushed band on, on the top and then polished on the sides. It looks really good. Um, it's got a, an ETA 7750 movement, that's right, not a Salita, but an ETA. I did crack it open and take a look for myself. Um, like I said, she's keeping really good time. It's got a sapphire crystal, of course, which is slightly domed. You can see it right there. And it's got dual anti-reflective on the, on the underneath and on the top, which is good for seeing it, however, the reflective coating, the anti-reflective coating does scratch easier than a sapphire crystal, so you got to be careful with that because sometimes you can get uh, what looks like your crystal scratch, but it's actually just the anti-reflective coating because, it's like I said, it's not as hard. Um, but it's got Tag Heuer, and then at the bottom it says Swiss Made. Um, underneath the tag symbol, you can see Link right there printed. Um, like I said, it is a chronograph. And this thing is keeping a really good time. All I had to do is use the micro adjuster. I didn't even have to adjust any of the pins or anything. But now she's keeping good time. Um, the clasp is a skeleton clasp. It's just a push button and it's a skeleton clasp. Signed Tag Heuer right there. Um, the back of the watch. Now it's a shame this has a solid case back because it is a really good looking movement like I said. Um, says Tag Heuer, Sapphire Crystal, Swiss made since 1860, automatic, 100 meter water resistant. Although 100 meters is not much, I would not even take this into a pool, although I suppose you could. I am not going to chance it. Not with, the, not with how much this watch cost. So let's get to cost. Now retail for this watch, if you go to Tag Heuer's website, is $4,450. That's also what it retails for at a authorized dealer. I did not pay that, however. I paid, with tax, I paid $35.23. Uh, 
Uh, they were having a sale on some of the links, and I liked the black one, so I picked it up, and I got it for $35.23, so I didn't pay retail. I don't know that I would pay retail. It's not a bad watch at all. I love it, but uh, for $4,450, I don't know that I would pull the trigger on it. Um, but this is, uh, this is the watch on the wrist. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave. Uh, go ahead and leave those. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. And I do have pictures of the movement up on What You Seek. If you go to whatyouseek.com to the forums and you search Tag Heuer Caliber 16 information, you'll see pictures of the actual movement that I took it off and you can see the Tag Heuer decorated it very nicely. Um, and that it is an ETA 7750 movement, which they renamed the Caliber 16. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, just go ahead and leave those. Thank you.